What's good everybody? It's your boy Ropes. So I want to make this video and tell everybody why I feel that Deontay Wilder is the realest, most relatable heavyweight champion that we have seen since Muhammad Ali. Okay, now when I say that, I'm not comparing their styles. I'm not comparing their accomplishments or anything like that. Because everybody knows the GOAT is the GOAT. Ali is Ali. Okay, he's just on his own level that nobody will ever be on. There will never be another Muhammad Ali. You might see some people who may be similar, who may do similar things. Like I say, Deontay Wilder is one of them, but nobody will ever be Muhammad. Okay, so let me just be clear about that. But there is no other heavyweight since Muhammad Ali that has been more relatable, more real than Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder says what's on his mind and he doesn't care what anybody has to say about it okay he doesn't care about who he offends or anything like that no filter with Deontay Wilder same as Muhammad Ali he was exactly the same way Muhammad took the time to talk to his fans and to pay attention to his fans Deontay Wilder does the same thing I mean the guy just came off the biggest fight of his career against Luis Ortiz biggest win of his career and already he has done an interview with 78 Sports TV. That deserves a massive amount of respect right there. Okay, this is the heavyweight champion of the world, man. He don't have to talk to nobody, man. You know, he can be on his Floyd Mayweather shit. You know, like, hey, you trying to interview me. I ain't trying to interview you. I ain't calling you. You calling me. You know, that uppity shit. You know, he could have been like that. You know, because everybody knows Floyd never gave a damn about his fans. We still supported him anyway. But he didn't give a fuck about none of us. He never took the time to speak to any of us. And he's had plenty of opportunities. Thought he was too good for it. You know? Here Deontay Wilder is the baddest man on the fucking planet. Okay? And already he has called 78 Sports TV and done an interview. Because 78 is the connection between him and his fans. And he understands that. He's smart enough to know that. There's nobody else you can go to that's going to connect you to your fans better than 78 Sports TV. The dude is a juggernaut. He's already a legend here, man. And it's crazy just when I sit back and I, I reminisce on the old days when I first discovered him. He only had like a few hundred subscribers back then. Now he is the absolute man on this boxing shit on YouTube, man. And it's, just, it's been fun to just sit back and just watch that growth, man. Now he is the key. You know, like if I was a fighter or a promoter or anything, I would be advising my fighters to call and reach out to him and do an interview, man, because who's going to connect you to the fans better? Nobody, in my opinion. I haven't seen anybody do it better. You know, that, and Deontay Wilder, he understands that. And he calls 78, he does that interview. And to me, man, that deserves a lot of fucking respect right there. Because like I said, he's the heavyweight champion of the world. He could be trying to do interviews with ESPN or a bunch of other motherfuckers that don't really give a shit about him. But he knows that the people who watch channels like 78, that um, we're, we're the hardcore fans, man. We're the ones that are really going to support him. And he understands that, you know. And I don't think that anybody, any other champion has done that since Muhammad Ali. Because Muhammad Ali would also take the time out of his day to go and, and talk to his fans, man, and just be around his fans and, and just do fun shit for them. Interviews. I mean, th there's just tons and tons, hours and hours and hours of shit with Muhammad Ali outside of the ring that you can go and you could look at. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he did it on a level to where I don't think it'll ever be reached again. But because of that, people in that particular time period were able to relate to Muhammad Ali. He was one of them. He was one of us back then in those times. Now, here we go, 2018, we have Deontay Wilder. He is one of us. He's that dude on the block that you can go to. Hey, where's Deontay at? Tell him, let's get ready to roll out. We all know somebody who's like that. You can see a little bit of of other people inside Deontay Wilder that, that we hang around on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? Name me another heavyweight champion that we've had since Muhammad Ali 
that, that you could say that about other than Deontay Wilder. Because I tell you one thing, I couldn't relate to Mike Tyson. I enjoyed the fuck out of watching him knock motherfuckers out. Don't get me wrong, but if it had been like, hey, let's go hang out with Mike, I mean, I'd be like, man, that motherfucker's unstable, man. I don't know if I want to be around dude. I don't think I could be myself around dude. He might fuck around and snap and try to bite off one of my body parts or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think people related to Mike. As an adult, and you sit back and you look at all the shit that he's been through now, you can kind of see, you can understand Mike a little bit better now. But at that particular time, and I was young too, I just, I couldn't understand Mike, man. All I knew is that he could just knock motherfuckers out. And he was a very angry man. That's the only thing I knew about Mike. So I didn't really relate to Mike. You know what I'm saying? But Deontay, I can relate to him, man. I could look at him and see parts of my cousin, you know, my brother, my pops, you know, just, I could see him at the domino table, you know, we sitting there and we, we talking shit, get your kids out the street and all that type of shit. That's something that we say when we're playing dominoes and shit. But, um, all of that, man, I could see Deontay Wilder right there, man. He's your regular average everyday dude, but he's a heavyweight champion of the fucking world, man. You know, and I have massive fucking respect and I will always support him no matter what. I will always give him the benefit of the doubt. If some bullshit come up that looks sketchy, I'm still going to give him the benefit of the doubt until I know for sure. Because he seems like a real thorough motherfucker that ain't going to try to hide no shit or get over. You know what I'm saying? So much respect to Deontay Wilder, man. Keep up the good work. And I cannot wait for the night. That Deontay Wilder becomes undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. It's going to happen. Whether you like it or not. And I'm going to celebrate, man. We all going to celebrate. Because we got Deontay Wilder's back regardless. He's our champion. That's my video. I'm out. Deuce.